Hi. The liberal leftists were pulling down statues and the nationalist right were protecting them. Now we have a subdivision of these middle class culture wars. It revolves around the recently unveiled statue of Mary Wollstonecraft, pioneering feminist and author of Vindication of the Rights of Women. It's been erected in the politically correct woke bastion of Stoke Newton. Problem is it bears no relevance to Wollstonecraft. Looking like an advertisement poster for the film Metropolis with a naked woman arising from a silver bin bag. It's probably popular with a raincoat brigade, if nothing else. But from day one, it's aroused controversy. The statue hasn't been pulled up or uh, blown down or whatnot. Instead, women from a group called Object have been clothing it with T-shirts. This is just another headline grabbing irrelevance that middle class feminists indulge themselves in in these strange, inexplicable times. There's a terrible, unbearable situation that millions of working class women are faced with, exacerbated by the COVID crisis. Domestic violence, poverty, isolation, mental illness, exploitation, in some circumstances, increased chances of catching the virus. But in the meantime, these so-called feminists wage culture wars against each other, such as the degradation of liberal left politics. These privileged middle class subscribe to. Working class women must fight for their own interests without the self-obsessed, entitled, phony activism of middle class feminists. Lesson being, the entire working class must fight autonomously against the political economic setup without the dubious assistance of middle class posers of both genders. Bye.